Hey, Jose, this is Andrea with Site Construction, and as we prepare the plans for permit submittal, I want to ask you a silly question. Is the wall separating the grudge and the house required to be a one-hour firewall? Get back to me when you get a chance. Thank you. Bye-bye. Although very commonly referred to a firewall, the wall separating a house and an attached garage is not required to be a one-hour fire resistance rated wall assembly. However, the code traditionally and still does require this wall to provide some level of protection from potential hazards from within the garage. Let us review those requirements. The residential code merely requires that the wall separating the attached garage and the dwelling to have no less than half an inch gypsum board or equivalent installed on the garage side. However, if there is a habitable room above the garage, then the garage ceiling must have a minimum 5 eighths of an inch thick type X gypsum board or equivalent. Now in regard to the drywall fastener requirements, this table in the residential code is where you will find the information which includes the screw and nail types, sizes, and spacing requirements that are based on the thickness of the gypsum, the wall application as in wall or ceiling installation, and the spacing of framing members. Also, always double check the footnotes. In this exercise, we see three applicable footnotes. A, B, and C. Footnote A is applicable when using nails to attach gypsum board. Footnote B is applicable when screws are used. And since screws are used in this example, we find that this reference section stipulates that the screws must be long enough to penetrate wood by no less than 5 eighths of an inch. Openings around vents, pipes, ducts, cables, and wires must have the annular space around the penetration filled with material that is susceptible to the building official. Doors between a garage and a dwelling must be solid wood, no less than 1 and 3 8 inch thickness. Solid or honeycomb core steel doors, not less than 1 and 3 8 of an inch thick, or 20 minute fire rated door. And any of the doors mentioned will need to be equipped with a self-closing or automatic closing and self-latching device. Please note that when fire sprinklers are installed in the dwelling and in the garage, then the door or doors between the garage and the dwelling will only need to be self-closing and self-latching. Ducts in the garage and ducts penetrating the walls or ceilings between the garage and dwelling must be constructed of a minimum 26 gauge sheet steel or other approved materials. And ducts may not have openings into the garage. A very important note to remember is that doors may not open directly from the garage into a room used for sleeping purposes. And as always, please double check with the local building department for their local interpretation and or amendments to the garage and house separation wall requirements, as their amendments to the code minimums may be more restrictive. For your reference, there are two links in the description below where you can access the interpretation by the International Code Council that is specific to this separation wall. Well, that does it for this question of the day segment. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, stay awesome, everyone.